In this video, we'll take a look at how to brand and customize your Adobe Connect account using the administration feature called Customization. To do that, I've just signed up for a free 30-day trial. I'm going to go ahead and copy the password that's been assigned to me and click on the URL to log into my Adobe account. So what I'm looking at here is a generic Adobe Connect account. We've got all of the default colors and all of the default images. To customize it, I'm going to go over to Administration and then Customization. Now we're in the Administration section right now and that means any changes that I make here are going to affect everybody on the account. Certainly individual meeting hosts can brand their own rooms by applying custom wallpaper, but what we're doing here goes a step beyond that. We're creating changes that will affect every Adobe Connect room and every Adobe Connect experience. And you can see here on my screen, there's three areas where we can customize our Adobe Connect account. The first one is customizing the web application, also known as Adobe Connect Central. Next, we can customize the login. This is the screen that people see as they're logging into a Connect room, but they'd also see it as they're logging into an Adobe Connect account. And finally, we can make some changes to the meeting experience itself. Again, going beyond a simple wallpaper, but actually customizing the logos that are shown here and all of the colors used in an Adobe Connect meeting. To start though, let's go back to the Customize Central link to make some edits to the web application that's used anytime you're creating a new meeting or editing your profile. If I scroll down, you can see that there are a couple of different things that I can do. Over here on the right, you'll see that I can upload a new banner logo. The banner logo is what shows up on the top left hand side of every Adobe Connect account. By default, you'll see it is an image that says Adobe Connect. If I want to change that, I can upload a new image, and there's a recommended size here that I'd really recommend that you follow. That's 360 pixels wide by 50 pixels tall. So I've got a couple of images already set for this banner image. I'm going to go ahead and choose File from the button, and then select my new banner logo. I'm branding this account uh, for a fictional company called Geometrics. Now I've uploaded my new image. You'll notice it's just a, a white box here. It, helps to hit the apply button for your changes to take effect. Even then on some browsers you'll notice that the change hasn't completely taken effect. You'll see up here in the top left hand corner for example it still says Adobe Connect. Sometimes the old images stay in cache. It's good to try this with a brand new browser. Uh, if you're using Chrome try testing it with something like Firefox or Internet Explorer. You can also do a hard refresh. I'm gonna click shift and then refresh and actually I can now see the Geometrics logo in the top left hand corner of the account that I'm using. That's not the only thing I can do here though. You'll notice if we scroll back down, I can also change some of the colors that are being used in the web application. For example, the table header, the color of the text that's displaying all of the, uh, the text on the page. In my case, I think most of it looks okay. I am gonna change this table header text though, again, to be consistent with my fictional brand. To do that, I can click on the table header link down at the bottom and select a blue color from this color mat. Now, in my case, I've selected a blue that doesn't really match my logo at all. If I know the specific color for my logo, I can simply edit that in here. So I can type in my own value. In my case, I happen to know it's 006599. And then click Enter, and you'll notice the table header changes, both here on my preview screen as well as down here where I can change the uh, the colors. So I'm happy with how Adobe Connect Central looks. I'm going to scroll back up and click on the customized login link to customize the screen that people see as they're coming into an Adobe Connect meeting room. And if I scroll down, you'll notice I've got the same types of changes I can make here. I can change the main logo, and that's the image that we're seeing over here to the right. It's a fairly large image, 410 pixels by 310 pixels. Let me go ahead and select the one that I've created ahead of time. Again, I'll scroll to the bottom and click Apply to see those changes take effect on my preview screen. And now I've got a brand new logo up here on the right hand side. In my case, I'd like the entire uh, page, or at least the strip on the page that contains the login information to match my logo. So I'm going to change the background by clicking on background, going up to the color selection and typing in my own value. And again, I'll type in that value that matches my logo. 
And now that I've made the background blue, I don't think this black text looks very good against it. So I'll click on meeting title and select a nice white and then login text. And we'll try a, uh, a light gray. And I'll scroll to the bottom and hit apply just to make sure that those changes all take effect before I move on to the next section. And that next section allows me to customize the meeting experience. Now this looks a little different. If I scroll down, you'll notice the color wheel has changed to a much more granular color wheel. This is an updated screen. And there are more options for changing the colors inside of an Adobe Connect meeting room. Before we do that though, over to the right, I can also change the logo that's used inside of a meeting room. And in this case, it changes the logo that's used up in the top left hand corner. By default, that's an Adobe logo, but you can change it to be the logo of your organization or whatever logo you'd like to have there. In addition to having the logo, you can also specify a URL so that when somebody clicks on that logo or that image, it takes them to whatever web page that you've identified. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that choose file. I'll click the meeting bug image that I created that was exactly 50 pixels wide by 31 pixels high. Uh, and I can enter a custom URL so that when somebody clicks on that meeting bug, they'll automatically be taken to my custom URL. I'm going to click on the apply button to see those changes take effect. And again, if I'd like to change any other colors in the meeting, for example, the color of the application bar, that's the bar up at the very top that contains all of the buttons. I can simply click on these, go ahead and type in my own values into the color picker. Click enter and you'll notice that change takes effect. There's a lot we can change here. We can change the menu highlight color. That's the color that you see when you select an item from the menu. The focus border color, you'll notice as people tab through here, you'll see the Geometrics logo in this case has got a green highlight across it. I can change that as I tab through. Uh, and in fact, I'd like to change that. This green doesn't look great with my corporate colors, so I'll change that to match my corporate blue. I can change the background color of the meeting itself. I like to keep that fairly neutral whenever possible, so I'm going to leave the gray background there. Uh, the application bar is what we changed up here at the very top. The text that appears on the application bar, in this case the word meeting. The pod bar color, this is the bar that's at the top of every pod along with the text of that pod bar color can also be edited. Again, I like something fairly neutral uh, for my account, so I'm going to leave those as shades of gray. Uh, I'm done here, I'm going to click apply. Go back to the top. I'm just going to force a reload so that I can see how these new meetings look. Let me go ahead create a brand new meeting. I'll just call it Alistair's meeting. And click finish. So we can see what this looks like. If I click on enter my meeting room, and all of the changes I've made have already taken effect. I've got a brand new logo up here. I've got new colors. I'm able to brand my Adobe Connect account to be consistent with my own corporate look and feel. That's how you can customize and brand your Adobe Connect account. Thanks for watching.